Spin my feet, so let's get into this tea. This is titled Danny and Lexi's Shocking Relationship Secrets. Let's get into it. In the tea. Let me clop the tea. Um, <laughs> I made a simple, small little post on this very attractive females page. I don't know if you guys know her or not. I really didn't want to put her name out there. I didn't even want to make this video, but everybody else is making videos. And y'all know how I feel. If you finna monetize me or something that I'm involved with and I ain't even doing it, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. And it just so happens that this is my bandwagon. They're using my name, right? My likeliness. Um, I commented on this girl's page and I said, I can't believe anybody would ever want to fumble you. That's all I said. I didn't shoot a shot. I didn't say, hey, shorty, what up? DM me. I ain't say, check your DMs. Call me. Text me. What's good? I ain't do none of that. I just was scrolling and I saw it in my explorer and I was like, what the freak? I remember seeing this girl. <gasps> That's the girl that was in all the tea, right? So whether you know it or not, this girl, Danny Washington, uh, she was involved in a lot of craziness in the last month or two. And every time I cut my phone on and went to Instagram, I couldn't help but see her and this other YouTuber just dogging each other out or whatever they was doing. I can't really recall, but it was a lot. Even the YouTuber's wife or ex-wife had to jump into it. So it was super a lot. And I'm like, I'm used to that. So I understand how that can feel to someone because y'all already know my life and my story and my family and my kids and everything about me always ends up being drama and it always gets dragged into the internet in a, a not so positive way. And even if I'm on YouTube on my own page saying how I want to be positive, how I want to drop all this negativity, it still comes back and haunts me, right? So These fraudulent men are really getting on my nerves. I, I just... I, nobody told you to comment up under her post. Not only nobody told you to comment under her post, nobody told you to tap into that drama because that's what it was going to come with. Because clearly she was going through some drama. So, of course, when you comment up under somebody's post that's going through something already, naturally, you're going to get some attention from it. And not only that, you're already CJ so cool. So... That name was going to obviously cause some people would raise their eyebrows because you're supposed to be in a relationship with Lexi or whatever. So it's like, why are you talking to her in the first place? And him being all surprised, like, I'm, I'm not trying to be in drama like that. I'm such a great guy. Like, I, I, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> Men are just. So I saw her going through that, and I'm like, dang, I understand how that feel, especially for someone that ain't even on YouTube. Like, I don't think she's a YouTuber, and she still had to go through all this craziness on social media because she was connected to a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. I know that some of y'all probably seen the video, but a lot of y'all probably skipped over the video, of course. And in that video, I said, Lexi and I were not together. I was a single man about to start doing dating content, and her and I were just friends. If you missed that video, that's not my fault. Does it matter to me that you didn't hear me say that and you feel like I commented on somebody's page as being messy because I'm supposedly in a relationship? Oh, nah, let's not forget the biggest part. Or I'm not supposed to comment on somebody's page because I got baptized. Do you guys understand how dumb that sounds? And I hate... Uh, yeah, no, the baptize... What are we talking about? Coming at y'all like that. When I say y'all the trolls, I hate coming at the trolls, calling y'all dumb or calling y'all out of y'all name because for the most part, some of y'all honestly just don't have a clue what y'all be talking about. Y'all just be typing, right? So... Just because I got baptized and gave my life to Christ, it has nothing to do with what I do on a social level. Like if I'm trying to talk to somebody or not, if I'm trying to be nice to someone in their comments or not, I don't think that God would deem that as a sin. It's just not a sin. It's not a part of the Ten Commandments. It does not say thou shalt not comment on Danny Washington's post. What the freak? It don't say nothing about that. So I'm still just living my life trying to stay as positive as possible. And I am single. I don't think no one in my position should ever have to worry about being single. Because even if a relationship doesn't work, and I don't want to sound weird, but there's plenty of fish in the sea. Which means that just because it didn't work with me and Lexi on a um, relationship-based level doesn't mean that I'm not made for someone else and that there's no one else out there made for me. I saw what that lady went through. And even still, I never shot my shot. I just told her I just couldn't believe that anybody would, anybody would want to fumble her. That was absolutely shooting his shot. Why is he lying? Why? why? 
Why men think everybody's stupid? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you know you were shooting your shot. You know you were shooting your shot. And it's okay for you to shoot your shot. Especially the fact that you wasn't, you're not with Lexi or whatever the case may be. Why are you lying about that? And that's the truth. That's how I felt. That's what Instagram is for. It's for you to like and comment. There's no other reason. I don't know why y'all on Instagram, but that's why I'm on there. If I see something that I like, double tap. If I see something that caught my attention and I want to say something, I'm a comment. I'm pretty sure y'all found a lot of comments from me on Instagram, but not on girl pages, of course, but just comments because I like to talk. If y'all don't know that by now, you're watching this video, you might be a little crazy. I love to talk. I don't want to say anything negative about Lexi because I don't have anything negative to say about Lexi. We already been together for two years or however long it's been. A lot has happened. We broke up several times and I made videos about her. She made videos about me. We both dissed each other, but we accepted each other back into each other's lives, right? And I'm at the point right now where I feel like after being out of that depression stage that I told y'all I was in, I shouldn't be associating, at least on a uh, sexual relationship basis, with someone that I fell into depression with. And that's not a shot at Lexi. But if I was depressed while I was with Lexi, then why would I want to continue that? It's just not right for me. It's not healthy for me. Whatever y'all see on my YouTube and these videos with me and her, that you may perceive that us together are the perfect couple, that's y'all's perspective. But me being here in the flesh, I have my own perspective. And honestly, I just felt like we were done. We been I feel I'm on the perfect couple thing. Stop looking at people as a perfect couple. That shit is a lie. Been done and we should have always stayed done, but I kept going back. She kept coming back and it's not healthy. And like I said, I have nothing bad to say about her. So that's probably all I am going to say about her. And moving back to the Danny situation, me and Danny have never met in person. I would like to meet her. I mean, especially after all this, y'all didn't cause so much ruckus. I feel like maybe it's meant for me to meet this woman. All I did was leave a comment and it just shook the whole freaking internet. I'm not going to say the whole world because, of course, I'm not even trying to sound like, like I just got the whole world in my hands. But... The internet is like the whole world, especially when it comes to the shade room, the tea pages, all these people. For the most of y'all that's watching this video right now, y'all all clocking in to all of them, them entities, watching whatever they say. They're like Fox News to some of y'all, right? Not to me. I don't go to the tea pages for my daily news. I go to the Bible to read the Bible now. I call my friends. I text my friends. They go, man, come on. <laughs> the church now i don't go indulge on the internet oh drama but today is veterans day so i was on instagram looking for my bets and what do i see <laughs> i'm all over the internet again so i don't go to instagram i'll be at the church i'll be at bible study i'll be but you had enough time to comment on danny's post <laughs> oh my god not even I was about to say, not even comment on her post. Definitely commented on her post, but didn't have time for the rest of it, man. I cannot. I'm sorry, y'all. I just... <laughs> People get... They are truly a trip. Truly, truly a trip, child. Oh, that's why I'm making this video. Did I feel like this video could have not been made no i felt like it had to be made so anybody say he just he just cloud chasing he's just doing this because you're wrong if i don't say anything then y'all gonna run with anything literally if i say nothing y'all go with everything the same way with the allegations it took me two days to say something because all i see is everybody just running with the narrative that they was given so if i don't say anything y'all just think it's true so here i am right now telling y'all the actual truth from the horse's mouth and if you don't believe it, that's on you. But prior to this video, of course, you probably was thinking anything. But just so you know, if you ever do see me and her together, it's because of y'all, bro. It's because of y'all. I seen all the videos, bro. I seen Chris Sales. He called me a beanhead. So, I mean, I thought him and I already squashed whatever the freak that was. I never met dude, but he he got my number. I still got the same number. Actually, all of y'all got my number because my ex put it on her video. So for this grown man to be like, what's the T, guys? I don't, I don't even want to talk about him. I hate giving out clout because even though I'm not who I used to be, I'm still the same person. So anytime somebody say my name, I got to remember they just want me to say their name. And they already looked up to me, looked past tense. I'm not saying he still looked up to me or anybody does. But there was a point in time when all of y'all looked up to me. And I remember. 
So me saying y'all name might sit well with y'all, but it don't sit well with me because I should never be saying these names, bro. Y'all not connected to me in no way. We're not friends. We're not associates. So why do we speak on each other? I don't know. But as a grown man, anybody that has anything to say to me from this point on, you got to catch me in person because I'm not responding on the Internet. I'm not writing you. I'm not DMing you. I'm not checking your DMs to see if you in my request. I'm not having it, bro. I'm moving forward with my life. And like I said now, I might be moving forward with the Danny situation because it just caused so much ruckus. And things like that. Not- it was going to cause ruckus because that's why you responded to her anyway. I keep saying responded. That's why you said something to slash about her anyway because of the ruckus that was already going on in the first place. Matter to me. If we getting all this attention, we might as well see if it'll work. Why not? Everybody else didn't try. They had, they shot, they messed it up, right? The other YouTuber, he had a chance. Whatever happened between them, it ain't got nothing to do with me. And me writing on her page don't got nothing to do with him. It's just me saying, how is this lady still single, bro? Like, how am I still single, bro? I don't got to be single. I can get with a lot of different women, but that's not my goal. My goal is to be with someone that actually benefits me because I'm going to benefit any woman I get with. Whether you like to say it and admit it or not, when I got with Lexi, I benefited her. I gave her subscribers. I gave her uh, followers on Instagram. I gave her a platform to speak on, and I put her in every video. I literally put her on a pedestal. That's what I do. Same with my other ex, Royalty. I put them on a pedestal and let you guys think that they're the best thing that's ever happened to me because that's what I like to do with my camera. When I pull my camera out, if I'm recording a girl in my life, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And even if it ain't true, I still like to say it. But... I'm over the depression now. I'm done being told what to do. I'm done with people thinking they can run my life and my relationships because you really can't. I'm CJ So Cool. I'm Cordero James Brady. I'm driving the wheel. Jesus got the wheel. We already got the front seat occupied. So- I'm sorry. I'm done with this video. Um, he, he literally brought this on himself to say anything about Danny or whatever was dealing with whatever Dylan's Danny had going on at the moment, knowing all the drama she was in. Now he like, I'm, I'm probably going to move forward from this. I mean, were you shooting your shot or not? If you have to move anywhere, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if you was just saying something, then we shouldn't be moving anywhere, but on because it shouldn't have never been anything to move in or move out of. You get what I'm saying? So, um, I just, Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl, because I just cannot. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.